Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome to my raw review of last night. Today is October twenty not October August twentieth, two thousand and thirteen. The one year today I became a one WWE turned into Raw for the first time and that's about um, about less than two hours left. So we're gonna this was an interesting Raw last night who who uh so who uh after the summer slam which I was I attended the raw was in the Honda Center in Anaheim which we got a lot of things to talk about. So let's get started. First off the big one, John Cena Well, turns out he had a bruised elbow, which I knew that. But I didn't I didn't see it from my vantage point. If you guys haven't seen from where I sat at SummerSlam, there's a video on that. Links in the description. Yeah, so he's going to take four to six months. So I was seeing the best of luck in his recovery. His, or his uh, elbow surgery. And hopefully it goes well. And hopefully we'll see him at TLC. But chances are we're going out to wait till the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Then he declared Daniel Bryan the legitimate WWE champion. And the crowd just went nuts. And when, John, when Cena said he's leaving the WWE, the crowd has erupted. And they're going, yes, 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 and all that stuff, as you mentioned. So Daniel Bryan was just about to say something, then all of a sudden, Stephanie McMahon came out. And actually saying that that Daniel Bryan's a B+, plus, not the A+, plus that Randy Orton is. But Daniel got frustrated, and she had, St Stephanie had Daniel Bryan root out of the Honda Center, but he bound to be back, and boy, we'll get that in just a few minutes. By the way, we have some things. Next is Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow. And actually, I was surprised I didn't pay attention. Cody did shave his mustache. I didn't notice. Because the seats were, were, were the, where they were went nuts. So the crowd just went completely nuts here. The Duke of DC came clobbering here. Came out a clobbering. But in the end, Cody Rhodes was a lot, went two for two, and that's right, Cody Rhodes ended up beating Damian Sandow again, and that is what I like to see. Next, Paul Heyman addressed the CM Punk, saying, Heyman saying that I'm the better man, but, oh, great. Saying that Heyman's the better guy. Saying that, saying that, give Heyman credit. He said that Punk gave Lesnar all that he could handle. And he said he still loves him. That he still loves him, but he's willing to take him back. But, eh, yeah. We'll talk to that in a few. Next is the Funkadats. We'll see on. AJ Lee and Layla. Why was Layla not at ringside during her missed tag team match with Dolph? I have no, no clue. But actually, this was a throwaway match, and surprisingly, the Funkadactyls actually won. Layla's face was re was beyond hilarious. Next, it was the uh, oh boy. Now this seg the next match is favors the Shield because. Bram Maddox saying he's saying some remarks about Triple H after SummerSlam. And Brad Maddox said, Congratulations, you're in a three on one handicap match versus the Shield. I was like, Oh, you hold on one moment.
Yeah, sorry about that. And it turns out Dolph Ziggler got punished for it. So Brad Maddox, that was such a jerkish move. And it's just as I expected. The Dolph did show off, but it wasn't good enough. As the Shield ends up beating Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, so next match is... I think this is what I know what I think it is. Next was Alberto Del Rio versus Sin Cara. This one, this match was very short. I think the match was like 30 seconds because Sin Cara stopped asked to stop the match, and it turns out he suffered a hand injury. What? Not ready. This is Sin Cara. Yeah, he has, he suffered a hand injury, hand injury, but then he had a post-match speech to the Latino community of Anaheim. It was interrupted by none other than his former ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez, who just found out he found a new client, he was happy to introduce his new client from his old client, and this was probably a big surprise, Rob Van Damn, and I just love that Jerry McCoy, what? And uh, according to JBL, he said, what a traitor. <laughs> so I think Del Rio has to face RVD at Night of Champions. Next, uh, this is the match I was thinking of. The primetime players versus the real Americans. And this was probably... Well, which I think is a primetime player's face turn right here. Yeah, there's no other way. I'm thinking this is a face turn because the crowd kept going millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions of dollars. So this was actually a pretty throwaway match. But in the end, I was kind of surprised. I thought the real Americans were going to win this one. But nope, the primetime players just did. They did last night. So a job well done. So Good job for the primetime players, and I'm hoping they get the tag team title shot at Night of Champions. If you guys are asking, Night of Champions is where every championship is on the line. Next, it was the Big Show versus the, in a 301 handicap match. Take it on, surprise, surprise, the Shield. And right at, but this time, it was a tornado tag. A tornado handicap, because all three members of the Shield or in against the big show at that point I was like enough with the shield already and after this match I was expecting the third one and big show saying that Mark Henry and him are tagging up but this was a tough match just when big show was about to hit the KO punch Roman Reigns hits the spear and what do you know what the shield win again so that's all I gotta say about that next is CM Punk Responded to Paul Heyman. Yes, and actually, yeah, CM Punk. This was probably one of his one of, one of his best promos yet, because he kept he owned a got a fan in the front row at least. He clearly advertised, and I think this is probably not scripted because well, Paul Heyman later on, he he pointed out to that guy as well. Yeah, and it turns out he did apologize, but he he apologized that he didn't get to dismember Paul Heyman as he promised to get his hands on him at SummerSlam. Paul's proposed solution to sell the score then and there. We had an ultimatum: leave the ring, or he'll send Curtis Axel out, which led to, of course, Punk versus Axel. And he took a fight. The former champion took on the current Intercontinental Champion. But in the end, Paul, ha I think it was either Heyman or Axel hit with a steel chair attack. And it is going to be to be continued. What a surprise. Next, it was Bray Wyatt versus R Troop. This is Wyatt's first. Bray Wyatt's first actual match on Monday Night Raw, and this is actually one of those short 
short term one. As once again, Bray Wyatt's your winner. Big surprise. I was not surprised. Next, it was the Usos versus 3MB. After this was a. <coughs> Excuse me. The Usos did a pretty. This was pretty competitive, although the crowd was chanting, Let's go, Usos, 3MB! That was probably another. This was probably not one of the worst matches of the night. I think the Fundamentals and AJ Lee versus Layla on that one was it. Next was The Miz versus Way Barrett. And boy, this was nice seeing a nice little trip back earlier in 2013 with the WrestleMania and the uh, payback. This was possibly what's cool. Just when you thought Miz was just about getting ready to hit the figure four, out comes Fondango. He did a blow from above only to get the Miz disqualified. Way Bear getting disqualified. And the Miz won. And wouldn't you know it, they played his theme song and the crowd at Anaheim just went nuts. I couldn't hear them go da 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 the Triple H finally explained himself. The shield was gone in the ring. And I was like, oh, come on, really? Why the shield? And the King of the Team said that the, w, the fans deserve better than Daniel Bryan. But Bryan did come. But the shield just, just was destroying Daniel Bryan. And just when they were about to hit the triple powerbomb, Bryan, ah, Triple H stopped them from doing that. He made his way, Daniel Bryan made it up to the ring, just in front of the Onzo Orton who struck an RKO, and this time, he did not get up, and that's how it ends Monday Night Raw. Whew. So I think Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton, this could be a good feud right here, so that concludes my Monday Night Raw review, and sorry this, is, sorry this lasted too long, so I'll see you guys with my SummerSlam. Souvenir stuff that I got from SummerSlam. So, see you guys in a few.